It's time to run all the cage! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, brings a 10 and 13 record to the cage, weighing at 186 pounds, representing four ounce fight club out of Houston, Texas, Artinus Machine Gun York! His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, brings a record of 20 victories and 10 losses to the cage. Rated at 185 pounds, representing team 515 out of Longview, Texas, Derek D. Rock Grants. The man in charge, Buddy Kasky. This is Definitely the hometown hero, Derek D. Rock Krantz. And definitely worthy of the main event, should I say. Man, these two guys, they're, they're very, very respectful guys, very respectful of one another, yeah. and uh, the ultimate just just classy guy. You know, it, it's funny. We mentioned how fast it took uh, Chico to say yes to this fight. It, it took Derek maybe even less time. I got on a phone call with him and Amber, and before I could say who the opponent was, he said, yes, I'll fight anybody. But, you know, Derek said, I'm not cutting to 170. <laughs> I'm hanging out at 185. Watch for the rapid fire jabs here from Machine Gun. He also he's got very good kicks. Both guys look quite comfortable in there. I mean, you can tell they have done this many, many times. Yeah, this is this is old, old hat to these guys. Seen a little bit more aggressive version of Machine Gun this time out. You know, maybe if that's the case, maybe he needs to take them all on short notice. You know, when he leads with his jab, he is a very, very hard fighter to deal with. Uh, d Rock Krantz, uh, I don't want to say he's a slow starter, but he's kind of a slow starter. Oh, he likes to come out. Nice left. But when he throws, he has got some power. He, he, he has a lot of bad intentions on all of his punches. And he's got solid, solid grappling. Yeah, for sure. Oh, big Both guys hand. are throwing. Big left hands land from each fighter. D Rock's another one of those we call the total package, you know. He is, but you know, also, I think D Rock, he, he has no worries about fighting a guy taller and no. more rangier than him because he's done this before. He knows what to do. I want to say Derek Crane's got his black belt uh, jiu jitsu as well from Brandon Quick and this guy's out there, Be Quick Jiu Jitsu. Derek Crane's is no slouch on the ground, but he loves. Loves to stand and trade power shots with you. He will go shot for shot with anyone. He will. That's uh, that's one of the things I think sometimes he has to kind of watch out for, though, because he's got that tough guy mentality. Every now and then, man, he'll just go plant the heels and let's do this. You no, know, it, it's funny. Even, you know, 20-something fights in, you can still see the speed for Machine Gun. See why he got that nickname. Man. The, 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 yeah, these, these guys are definitely veterans. Got a watch coming in wild like that. We like to see Machine Gun Yee with the lead with his jab. D Rock likes to lead with that big right hand and follow it up with the takedown. Both fighters taking their time, kind of feeling each other out a little bit here. They are. You think Derek's going to end up being, uh, looking for a takedown here in a minute? I, th I think he's comfortable on the feet, like you said, against a larger opponent. Uh, but yeah, his bread and butter is taking the fight to the ground and making your night miserable. He's so physically strong. He, he's very a strong guy. Freak of nature. Strong. He's country boy strong, man. Hey, machine guns. He's taunting him just a little bit. A little, little shout out to Nick and Nate Diaz there. Oh, oh big left hand oh, landed. And this is this is bad for machine gun here. Yes, Derek this is where France Derek likes to is be. It's horrible to have on your back. He's definitely grabbing the cage though. Here's, here's the worst thing, you know, okay, he grabs the cage. All you can do is take a point from him. <laughs> that's a hey, veteran. He's trying to survive right now. Hey, that's that's a veteran savvy move right yes. there to grab one of the cage by a little bit it of is. time. Kind of like throwing ice down him. <laughs> yeah, he grabs it again. There goes the point. Look, yeah. look, he's shaking his head. He understands. He's like, all right, yeah. take a point. Yeah. Well, look, you know what's happening right now? He's getting he's his, he's clearing his head. He is. That's actually more beneficial to Chico or Tennis Young right now because they just separated him. But they took away the good position that Derek had. Yeah, it actually worked uh, more against Derek, I'm, it seems like. I'm really not sure why they didn't start him back against the cage there.
Well, Derek knows he can hurt him for sure, man. He, he landed a good punch, so now he's probably going to be looking for that again. And, and you know, Artinas knows that too. A little bit more patient, Artinas, right now. He's trying to stay on the outside. Stay away from that big right hand. He's got to watch tough. out for the power. Well, especially when the other guy's a counter puncher, man. You, you kind of get scared to throw a little bit because they're counter punching so well. Here's the problem he's going to run into because of the great takedowns and skills that Derek has on the ground. Now he's got to worry about the takedown and the power from the hands. Which is not good. Derek Crane's laughing a little bit. It's swinging wildly right there. A lot of these guys over there, 515, can hit hard. You know, Kevin Aguilar over there. Kevin Aguilar. Aguilar big champ. The Kevin Angel Aguilar. Of death. It's like a truck. That guy, that guy may be the hardest punch in 145 or on the planet. And I he agree. can take a punch. Oh, my gosh. Man, the fight He's with, about like Diaz as far as taking a punch. The fight with him and Damon Jackson That's was, one of, the, was one, one of the best fights we've actually had in this arena. Yep. Amazing. It was because he, he was winning the first round. Damon was coming back and starting to win on him. Kevin never gave up and ended up knocking him cold as a wedge. One I'm, punch. I've, I've hardly Speaking ever seen somebody knock that cold. Machine gun was hurt again right there off that right hand. Derek Rocks is he, he is feeling it right now. Five seconds left in this round. I don't think we're going to see a finish in the first round. That is an easy first round to Derek Krantz. Absolutely. I agree. Big overhand right, and that's the overhand right to double leg. Looks like the uh, timing on the clock was a little bit off there. <laughs> you think? That's what I thought. <laughs> that's all right. It happens. Very good. Good first round for Krantz. Great first round. That first round is brought to you by the guys over at Creative Advertising. You check them out. Find them on Facebook, Creative Advertising, or check them out at capsla.biz, capsla.biz. That's Creative Advertising. My man Rich Taylor over there That's making right, it happen. My friend. Make, making it happen. Everything you see in the cage tonight, all the decals, all your banners, all your signs representing round number two. Shirts. Shirts. Hats. We, we do it all. Trailer. Trailer. All of it. VIP badges. You got it. Fight card. You name it, we do it. Tell you what, this, this main co-main event and main event are shaping up to be unbelievable. We, we've had a great fights all night from the start to the very last fight we're in here right now. And there's not been one non-exciting fight. Super pumped about the way this card has gone so far. Again, guys, follow us at akafights.com. Once again, that's akafights.com. Follow us on Facebook. Let's know when our next fights are coming up. Learn more about the fighters on our cards. Here we go for round two. And, you know, I would recommend also get your tickets early for the next fight. That's what I've been telling We you. sold this baby out. It's going to happen again. Yeah, I'd like to thank Richie and Audrey. They do a wonderful job helping us out here at AKA, and, uh, and we couldn't do it without them. It's a whole team effort. As Richard knows, being in this, this game, it takes a whole bunch of people to yes, make a show right. like this go off. And I appreciate everybody that's part of the and AKA you are, family. You're very welcome. Round number two. Big right hand from Martinez, but it, n not the same amount of power behind it that you're going to see from Derek. Yeah. Yeah, Derek oh. always has mass massive power. A bit more aggressive version of our uh, machine gun here. Can't stop calling Chico. I've called him Chico for a decade. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nice right hand. He's got to be careful. He's he's falling off into the power side of Derek Krantz. And I, I feel like he's going to wheel right back into that right hand again. You're exactly right, man. If he comes back with a counter right, he could be in big trouble. Martinez is wanting to work back to his leg kicks again. But the problem with the leg kicks is it leaves you in the power alley for, for the right right hand. Oh, Jose Aldo combo there. Nice job. Tennis working the feints. Man, Derek is, when Derek lands, there's a noticeable power difference. Even on a jab. Stiff, stiff jab. It is. The jab is as hard as some guys throw a right cross. Derek comes from a long line of fighters. You know, his dad trained these kids to, to be fighters, and he's got a heck of a gym over there in Marshall also. Yes, uh, shout out to D-Rock's gym. That's right. I tell you what, though, Derek's being very patient here. He's just waiting for the uh, for the right moment. Right, he landed a little there. Now 
No, it, it's great to see the conditioning here for Machine Gun, having fought just two, two weeks ago, taking this fight on the late It notice. is, man. He, he looks totally fine in there. I mean, he got rocked a little bit, but his cardio and all looks very good. Veteran. That's what you get when you get these vet, veteran fighters like this. Well, and you know, when, it, when someone is in that good a shape, too, it helps them shake that off. Yeah. When you get hit that hard, hey, you know, you just kind of work through it. How many times have you seen that? They just go into kind of reflex mode because their, their cardio is there. There are those leg kicks. For machine gun, he has nasty, nasty leg kicks. A little cut over, over the eye there of Derek Krantz. Looks like yeah. looks like our tennis caught him with something. They caught him busting him up pretty well. He sure did. Over the right eye. Now, now this could play into you know what kind of problems is this going to cause for for wow. Nice underhook dig right there from our tennis to stop that takedown. Yeah, it was very nice because I thought Derek had him. Artinas has very, very underrated wrestling. For a guy who's known for a striker his entire life, uh, he, he knows how to wrestle. He's, and especially when you talk about guys with over 20 fights, they know mixed martial arts, whether it be striking, whether it's jiu-jitsu, whether it's wrestling. They understand the fight game. Is Artinas a bit of a Muay Thai guy? I, I see he's wearing yes. Muay Thai shorts, so I'm, I'm assuming that's that's one of his. Uh, that is that that is his home base. Uh, he loves to train with the guys Bob Perez and those guys over at Houston Muay Thai as well as Four Ounce. I want to say he's got a big uh, Muay Thai tattoo on his on his arm, his leg, one of the places. Yeah, he's got a Muay Thai tattoos over there. <laughs> <laughs> Derek still grinding him, but gets the cage here. Now, this is the type uh, of fight I looks think. Looks like he's working for a takedown, is the, perhaps. It's the best advantage of Derek. Derek wearing Single a lot leg. of blood there on his face from, from that cut. That cut is pouring. Yeah, I think he feels it. I saw he just wiped at it. Well, you know, it's definitely something. He just had the eye injury. So now he has a cut over the eye, which can be very concerning. And, and it can play mess with your head a little bit. Yeah, I, I do think the eye injury was on the left eye. So... I, I don't know, but you, like you said, it, it's still, it's it's in your eyes. You got blood going in your eyes. What's it going to do? Big, big right hand from Derek Gray. It's a little, little bit slower with that right hand that time. You know, some of the explosion has come out of him in the second round, but not the power. The power is still there. Well, Richard, do you think some of it's the fact that he's fighting up at 185 pounds, where he's normally down at 170? You know, it's it's hard to say. Like some, a GSP kind of situation. Yeah, you know, it's hard to say. He's carrying more muscle on, on, him, on his frame this time, but it's more natural muscle as well. So his body didn't have to dehydrate to get to that 170. So, you know, it just de it depends on, on, on some of the fighters. Some guys do... You know, move up and rate very well and handle it. Some guys you see do like GSP. They right. can't have that heavier weight and are not used to competing at that weight. You may walk around at it, but it's completely different from actually competing at that weight. It is. It, it truly is. And, you know, I've seen Derek before, man. He is such a tough guy. He can go out there and look like he is totally worn out and fight three more rounds looking like that. Chance of D-Rock from the pro Derek Crane's crowd here. Big, big smile on the face of Derek Krantz there. Yeah. Um, I, I've got to say, this is probably 1-1 one, one going into the third. It, it's turning into a very good fight. You know, I think everybody was initially thinking, you know, Derek Krantz is going to come do his thing, you yeah. know, because we all know Derek. But I tell you what, our tennis is, it's, he got a little rocked in the first round, but he really looked pretty darn good in the second round. You know, it's really hard to not expect a Derek oh, Krantz fight to stop early. <laughs> You expect him to come in, grind the guy out, and submit him or pound him out. That's right. The cut doesn't look too bad. We're getting to look at it now. It's in the eyebrow. It's not a really, really big it's, cut. It's more like a deep scratch. Our tennis came out that, that round uh, more aggressive Definitely. than the first round. Definitely. His, his corner is, is yelling at him. He's got Daniel Pineda, UFC veteran, yelling at yes, him in his corner. Is. Take this right now. Go out and you push the pace. Daniel Pineda won last week at his hometown in Louisiana for LFA as well. I think he's got a next fight coming up for Bellator. Uh, this is going to be an interesting round here. It is. I'm, I'm be curious what the strategy is going to be from Derek. You know what the strategy, strategy is from, from our tennis young. He's going to stand Ladies and gentlemen, we got go. one more round tonight. Let's bring these fighters to that out. opening bell. Or like you said, does he look like he's getting a little bit tired out there now? And is that going to hurt him? Our tennis man, he looks like he's in shape. Much respect. Mike the Truth there from MikeTheTruth.com, my co-host on the Truth About Stuff podcast. Check us out on iTunes. Download it. Just to hear more of my voice. <laughs> <laughs>
Man, you're good on the infomercials. Thanks, man. <laughs> you got to give a shout out to Mike. <laughs> I got to, I got to, got to get at something these days. Although we've had to look at his legs all night, man. I have. He's rocking these shorts on us here. I have. They're very, very short. I thought he was going to go run a marathon or something. <laughs> our, our tennis again is early. He's coming out aggressive, but he is going. He's trapping himself into the power of Derek Krantz. He's got to be careful. He's fading into the right hand. And, and that can be lethal against Derek. It is, and Derek's one of those guys, no matter game. how tired he gets, he can always knock you out. Even with, with the counters from Martinez, he's going into the right side. But Martinez is firing back, man. You Look, know, honestly, it seems like it, it, this round is the round. You know, it, I, I agree. I think whoever wins this round. Yeah, whoever turns it on. And and just to be honest, the way MMA works, I'm sorry, but our tennis has to clearly win this round to beat someone in their hometown. Yeah, it's like it fighting over in Brazil, it right? Is. It doesn't matter what city we're in. That, that's not that's not a Louisiana bias. That's a any state you are in, the hometown guy, yeah, he gets an advantage on, on the judge's card. It's just life. It's like having the hometown advantage in a football or basketball game. Yes. That's right. Well, that's like standing here commentating. I know Derek personally. Yeah. Yes. And so I, I've got to try to be equal with both guys, but I don't know our tennis like I do, uh, you know, Derek. So, hey, I, I, he's got my respect, man. He's, he's hanging in there third round, and it's anybody's fight right now. Nice uppercut there. Yeah. Yes. Our, our tennis keeps ducking under on, on, on that combo, and, and it looks like Derek is finding the timing here. He's caught with that uppercut. I, I'm really I'm really surprised to not see more, more jabs here from our tennis young. He's had a lot of it. He seems, he seems to be fading a little bit here. I think you're right. The, out, the output has definitely slowed down. Oh. There's that uppercut again. Yep. Yeah, I think Krantz's timing is getting a lot better on the uppercut. Our tennis is like, what's up, man? There's that counter punch Our, we were talking about. He has no problem standing in front of you. Neither fighter does. E either of these guys will stand in front of you and bang. Yeah. It, this is an extremely close fight. Our tennis wants to, he likes to faint with his right hand to throw the jab. He's abandoned his, his kicks. That's the first kick I think he's thrown since maybe the middle of the second round. I would not be surprised here with under three minutes to see Derek Krantz set up a takedown and push this fight up against the cage. Absolutely, because you know, when you've got 30 fights, you know what to do to uh, kind of win the judges over, yes. especially in the final round. And I guarantee Matt. you, he's good at it. Nice jab. Stiff jab. Stiff, stiff jab. And again, our tennis is moving into the power of Derek. Yeah, big left hand. It looks like Krantz is kind of turning it on now a little bit. We got about two minutes left in the round. Our tennis actually is having a hard time his, seeing. Yeah, he's holding his eye. Wow, these guys are swinging. Oh, and you can you can see the swelling under his eye there. It looks like yeah, it looks like a, a scrape maybe from the glove. And you know, his eye is swelling shut. It is. Wow, that is, that is swelling very fast. Oh yeah, you can see his eyelid. You can see the yep. scrape on uh, under his cheek. Definitely. It is, and it looks like Krantz is turning it on at the same time. So that is not a good combination. You know, no. it, it happened after after the left hand it, from the big left hand from Krantz, uh, but it doesn't look like necessarily just a, a cut. It looks like the big power landed, and then the glove slid up and got some of them too. Yeah, that, that another. Oh wow. Damn. Now Krantz is going in for the kill. Yeah, but look at see the, how hurt he is. Great veteran move from from a uh, machine gun there to gra grab Absolutely. that Absolutely, he almost got Krantz on his back. I was just getting ready to say he's going to throw that jab and follow with the right. <laughs> well, I tell you what, we're under a minute left in the round. Our tennis really needs to turn this on because Krantz is, is bringing it now in the third round. Yeah. It's really starting to look like his fight now. Yeah, our, our tennis has got about 45 seconds here to actually secure a finish. That's the only way he's going to win this fight. He, he needs a finish. Derek is, is winning this round. He is. The crowd's going crazy for D-Rock. I mean, this is typical D-Rock show. Oh, he brings a crowd now. 30 seconds. What a great main event this has been here. I'm at amazed with, Passage the, three. with the one-week turnaround. One-week turnaround. Amazed. Our tennis is a stud, dude. I mean, he, to come in there and hang with Krantz like this, short turnaround not even a full seven days what is it, like five days <laughs> <Yeah>. amazing <laughs>
Well, it's been great to see Derek Krantz get back into the cage. Yes. Yeah, there it is. Shake off the feelings from, from that eye injury. And talk about two veterans, two warriors, leaving it all in the cage. What a great fight between these two guys. Round of applause for both of them. Yes. I'd like to get our tennis shown on another card for sure. Guys, make sure you check out all the sponsors before we get out of here. Mike Tilton at Quality Plumbing and Heating, Vintage Gallery by Johnson's Furniture, Adrenaline, Home Audio Innovations, MMA Assault, Legacy Playmaker, Creative Advertising, Bishop's Dent Company, Paintless Dent Removal, and of course, Blackhawk Septic and Excavating. Richard, thanks for coming, man. We really enjoy having you here. Hey, it was a pleasure. You know, you're invited anytime to come hang out with us. Thanks, man. I, de I definitely appreciate it. Guys, make sure you can find me on all the social media at Show Enough Stuff, as well as you can find my verbal sparring partner on our show, The Truth About Stuff, with Mike Jackson at MikeTheTruth.com. Go to AKAFights.com today. Learn about the new fights coming up. Learn about the more fighters. Support our sponsors. Thank you to the Horseshoe Casino here in Bozier City. Ladies and gentlemen, how about that finish? Mr. Young, coming into this fight, my, my sheet said you had lost 13 fights. I don't know who the heck you were fighting, but you put on one heck of a show tonight. And Mr. Krantz, absolute legend in MMA in the area. After three rounds of exciting action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. By scores of 30, 26, 29, 27, and 29, 27, your winner by unanimous decision, Derek D. Rock Kranz. Ladies and gentlemen, before I get in here and talk to your winner, Derek Krantz, I want to say our tennis young took this fight on like less than a week's notice. Guys, this is just real quick. Much respect to Krantz and his whole team. He came out and fought me an awesome fight that was really respectable. I appreciate him and their, the way they prepared. I took this fight six days ago. I was in the ER. His pictures, of course, prove this. If it's not on Snapchat, it's not real, right? But uh. I, you know, that's no excuses. Obviously, I'm right here. I'm just saying that to say, I'm never done. This is nothing. You know, I appreciate everything. Everybody who came out in Bozier, appreciate y'all. Thank you for showing up, giving us support. It's a lonely sport, you know, so we appreciate all the support that we get. Win, lose, or draw. So I thank you guys, and I thank you. Thank this organization, and thank this team, and my fellas who got me ready. Thank you. Absolutely, guys. He's a stud for hanging in there. Derek, man, this is this is your home crowd. This is your home crowd. You know, you came off a really tough eye injury. We talked about that before. There was a chance that you could have even lost the eye. How does it feel to get back in here and do what you do? It feels good. Uh, I finally got the butterflies off. You know, I was I was very I was, I was scared. You know, the first round and a half, dude, I was just afraid to get hit. You know, I was just having flashbacks, getting poked in the damn eye again. Uh, but once I, once I overcame, after he hit me real good and cut me in my right eye, I was like, all right. Did, did that bother you when you did get the cut over your eye? No, that, that got me excited. <laughs> all right. Well, if you got anybody you want to thank real quick. Well, you know, I want to thank the whole organization, Amber Bishop, her husband, Ryan. They, they, they really went out of their way to make me feel comfortable and welcome. Uh, they put on one hell of a show. I want to thank all my fans, you know, and my sponsors. Y'all make it worthwhile. You know, hearing y'all chant my name while I'm trying to punch somebody in the face, there's no other feeling. I love it to death. Uh, thanks for everybody, you know, coming and supporting. Uh, you know, sky's the limit. Well, you know, I'm going to tell you this. You are definitely UFC worthy. Thank you so much for coming to AKA and fighting for us, without a doubt. Thank you, everybody. God bless. Have a great night. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the main event, Derek D. Rock Prince.